Today is the 18th of December and we're going to be looking at Luke chapter 18. So I've just got a few thoughts that I wanted to share with you um, based on attitudes to prayer within this chapter. And the first one's persistence. And right in the first verse, it says that Jesus told the, the disciples the parable of the persistent widow to show them that they should always pray and not give up. Prayer can often be really hard, especially when it seems like God isn't responding and it's easy to get impatient and give up. Well, I particularly find this. But actually, in this parable, the widow was so persistent in going back to the judge that he probably got so irritated with her that he finally granted her request. And it actually says, the Lord said, listen to what the unjust judge says. Will not God bring about justice for his chosen ones who cry out to him day and night? And will he keep putting them off? I tell you, he will see that they get justice and quickly. And later on in the chapter, um, when we look at the parable of the Pharisee and the tax collector, I think this is demonstrating that we should pray humbly before God. And then there's an example of Jesus and the little children. And I think it's really important that we receive like a child, that we're open and have the faith like a child in order to receive whatever God wants to give us. And just as a child would always receive a gift gratefully, that as adults, so often we make things so much more complicated yeah, it would be so much easier if we just had the faith of a child and received and accepted the good gifts that God wants to give us. And in the final um, section of this chapter, when the blind beggar receives his sight, the beggar was crying out to be heard amongst the crowd. And it's only because of his persistence in making a lot of noise that actually Jesus came over to him and asked him what what do you want me to do for you and in doing so Jesus said receive your sight your faith has healed you is there something that you're being reminded of to keep praying about maybe to be persistent and not give up Or maybe you need to ask someone else to pray with you. Maybe today this is prompting you to cry out to Jesus, to tell him honestly how you feel about something. What do you want Jesus to do for you today? Father, just thank you that you are a good, good God and you long to give each of us, your children, good gifts and for us to receive from you. Lord, help us to be patient and keep trusting in you, even when it gets difficult, Lord. And we just pray, Father, and long for you to answer our prayers. Amen.